Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you three ingredient Instant Pot recipes. So my name is Kristen, and every Sunday we share an Instant Pot recipe with you guys. Now, you can tell that it's a little bit different here today. I'm actually in my new kitchen. Now, usually we film in my mom's kitchen with my sisters and like our crew to help us film everything, but because of everything that's going on and the social distancing, I am just filming on my own camera from home by myself. So this video is gonna be a little bit different, a different angle, but I hope that it will be helpful for you guys. So I'm making three ingredient Instant Pot recipes, so hopefully you can find something in your pantry or something quick and easy in your house that you can kind of just throw together in the Instant Pot and you can have a meal. All right, if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, so the first recipe is called Creamy Turmeric Chicken. The three ingredients are boneless, skinless chicken breasts, some coconut milk, and then some turmeric. I'm just gonna take my frozen chicken breasts and put it in the bottom of the Instant Pot. Now I have about, you can use two or three chicken breasts, whatever you choose. All right, then I'm gonna have one can of coconut milk. Go ahead and open it. Make sure you shake it before you throw it in and then dump it in. <laughs> And then last, I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of turmeric to just put right on top. That's all you have to do. So go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure that that little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. <laughs> you're welcome for that. And make sure you push the pressure cook or manual button and you're gonna go to 25 minutes. Now I'm going to 25 because it is frozen. If it's thawed, you only have to do it for 20. Now once you set the timer and it says on, you can just walk away. Now I let it sit in there for about 10 minutes, then I turn that little knob to venting to let all the pressure out. And it smells absolutely amazing. Now I just pulled my chicken out and shredded it with some bear claws. You can also throw it in a mixer, it will shred really well. But I love my bear claws. I'll put a link in the description for you because they're one of my favorite tools to use in the kitchen. All right, so now I'm just putting my chicken back into the pot because we want it to have all that flavor in that chicken. So go ahead and mix it around, and when you're ready to serve, you can easily serve over rice or cauliflower rice. Today we're just doing rice because that's what I had in my pantry. All right, so the next recipe I'm making is homemade bean burritos with great northern beans. Now these are so easy to use, but you wanna make sure that you rinse the beans out before you start cooking them. So, oh, there's the dog. <laughs> So I am measuring four cups of dry beans and I'm just gonna rinse them out really, really well with water. Once they're all rinsed, go ahead and just dump them into the bottom of your Instant Pot. Next, you're gonna take about one cup of your favorite salsa. I'm using Herdez salsa, but you can use whatever kind is your favorite. Now the last ingredient you need is some taco seasoning. So I'm just throwing in a packet of taco seasoning. I'm using mild, just so it'll be a little easier for my kids to eat. Then you're gonna add five cups of water, just pour it on top of everything. Now you don't really have to mix or anything, you can just go ahead and put the lid on, make sure that little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Then you're gonna push pressure cook or manual button and then push the timer or the up button or plus button up to one hour. That's how long these beans are going to cook. Now when it's done cooking, I just let it release on its own for about, oh, 15, 20 minutes. Then I turn the knob to venting to let anything else out and then you can open the lid. Now you can mash these with like a potato masher or beaters or whatever you want. So I'm starting with a potato masher and I'm just going as quickly as possible to mash all the beans. Now if you need to add a little bit more water, I added about a fourth a cup just to give it a little more liquid so it can smash a little easier. Now once all your beans are smashed to the texture that you like them, I left a little bit of chunks in mine still. Now you can go ahead and put some on a tortilla I like to add a little bit of cheese on it, then you can go ahead and roll it up. So fold them to two sides and then roll it over. Now, 
Now I filled this one a little too full, so I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter so it will cook more even. There we go. Okay, so we're rolling it over. Now I like to cook mine on a skillet, so I just put one side on the skillet and then about a minute or two later, just kind of watch it, flip it over so you'll have a little bit of crisp to your bean burrito and it is absolutely delicious that way. Now, there were a lot of burritos, too many that we didn't need that many for dinner, so I decided to wrap them individually so my husband could take them to work. So I just took a piece of foil, just wrapped in the sides, and you can either stick them in the fridge or the refrigerator. Now for the last recipe is my chicken and sweet potatoes. It's one of my most favorites, especially for lunch. You can just put it in your Instant Pot, cook them together, and call it good. So I'm adding a large chicken breast. It, it's kind of the size of two chicken breasts. And then I'm adding two large sweet potatoes. On top of that, I'm just dumping one cup of water, and that's all there is to it. So you're gonna put the lid on, make sure that little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Then go ahead and push the pressure cook or manual button and we're going to 25 minutes. Now that will cook the sweet potato and the frozen chicken at the same time. Now if you had thawed chicken, you can go 20 minutes. Just make sure your potato is cooked all the way through. And when you're done, make sure you turn your knob to venting to let all the pressure out. You can take your lid off. All right, my potatoes are cooked all the way through. I love that I didn't have to stab them or anything. You just throw them in and cook them. Then you take out your little trivet so you can also take out your chicken. Now, once both are out, I like to shred my chicken first and just shred it up into small pieces, bite-sized pieces, so it's easy to eat. Then for my sweet potato, I just kind of chop off both ends, and then you're gonna just split it in half. Now, you can have half a sweet potato, or if you're really hungry, a whole sweet potato. Now, to make it easier for my family to eat, I like to cut up the middle a little bit just so bites come a little bit easier and it will be easier to eat. Then, so once you split up your sweet potato, go ahead and add your chicken and then it's time for the sauce. Now, my favorite sauce to put on this is buffalo wing sauce. You could also use barbecue sauce. I like this new sugar-free hickory flavored sauce. It's actually really good for being sugar free. So anyways, I'm just going to put a little bit on. If you're doing the buffalo wing sauce, you can also add a little bit of ranch on top. That's delicious too. Now, if you guys like these Instant Pot recipes, make sure to check out our other Instant Pot recipes right up there. All right, guys, I will see you next Sunday. Bye.